Hey folks, it's Bishop Heels. How you guys doing over there today? oof -ah. Well, I'm here because I got some responses regarding towards my water cooling project that I'm finally, finally done. Oh, finally, I tell you. So, I got some requests regarding what kind of radiators uh, should I get, blah, blah, blah. Water blocks, blah, blah, blah. And then I got some requests as far as what is water cooling? Well, you know, I thought, let me just do uh, a brief little summary video on what is water cooling and is it good for you I tell you mm -hmm. if it's for you I tell you because it is a little bit of, of an investment okay um, you can do this on any PC that you already had custom built um, or even non custom built you can probably get something that's like uh, already like a pre-built uh, water cooling kit um, and those things can range between you know $100 to like $600 it all depends or you can actually go all out like something that I just did over here that you know it can estimate least you know can bring you up to close to a thousand dollars to even two thousand dollars it all depends on what kind of radiators you're using the size of the radiators okay also the water blocks and what kind of fittings you're actually using okay because um, the fittings alone I gotta tell you man the fittings are these little guys over here these guys well I'll give you guys a little bit more of like a more up close look and I'll explain as I go okay so here we are let's take a look at this rig a little bit more up close and personal okay because the what I did was essentially this is a uh, half 932 case okay and by default this case is all in black okay and gray in the inside so I took all the uh, pieces out which was just the motherboard, the processor, you know, and so forth, and replaced everything, okay? And I also gutted out the case uh, so I can actually uh, prime it and paint it. So I went with yellow and black. Um, the reason why I went with yellow and black is for it to match with my rocket speakers, okay, because it's yellow and black, okay? It's not really much of a Bumblebee thing or Transformers thing. It's just literally because I wanted to match my, my speakers, okay? So, okay, now, as far as my radiators, uh, the radiators that I'm actually using is two um, three-fan radiators, okay? I got one horizontal, okay, all the way in the top, and then I got one which is vertical, which is this one right here, okay? And it's three fans, okay? And I'm actually using Noctua fans, okay? They're 3,000 RPM, rated at 3,000 RPM fans, okay? And I was going to go with a push and pull action, which that means... I would actually double up the fans. I would have a set of fans underneath the radiator and then another set above the radiator, which I didn't go with that uh, with that configuration. There wasn't really a need for it uh, because the temperatures alone, right now I'm in the 20s, uh, 20 degrees Celsius range, so I, I, don't, I don't need it to be any cooler. Plus, it's not going to get any colder than the ambient temperature. So if my ambient temperature is, let's say, 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 75 degrees, that's really the coolest it actually can reach to. Um, otherwise, I would need to put in like some kind of condenser or something to actually start cooling this thing. But I don't need to. I mean, I am totally overclocking this. Um, that's why I actually went this route. I wanted to overclock even more than what I was getting. Um, but right now, as far as processor-wise, I'm actually running a 1366 on here, okay? And it's a Xeon processor. So it's I get 6 cores, 12 threads uh, right now currently, and she's at 4.4 gigahertz. Um, at 4.4 gigahertz, uh, temperature-wise, and I don't even have it at full blast as far as RPM-wise. Um, it's only like running at 1500. The other right is at 1680. Uh, and um, as you can see, temperature-wise, it's in the 20s. Okay, and these would actually go down more if I would actually crank her all the way up to 3000. Okay, but as of right now, because I kind of like the sound, it's quiet. It's not like I need it. Um, that's why I'm not really uh, pumping it as far as uh, 3,000 RPMs. But right now, just to give a little uh, explanation here. Okay, these are uh, barcelet glass, okay, tubing is what I'm actually using here. Uh, I didn't bend these tubes. They actually, you have a choice of buying them straight as well as bent, okay. Um, and then you have to cut them out, okay. So um, as far as cutting, I was actually using the Dremel with the diamond cut bit. Uh, is what I was actually using 
uh, to cut these. And these are the actual fittings, okay? Pretty much joining the tubes directly to the water block. That is a water block right there that you actually see there, okay? That's on top of the processor. That's one water block. Plus, I got another water block over here on the video card, okay? And those are really the only two water blocks that I'm actually running. I was considering running a water block for the memory, but uh, I was going to do that if, if I was able to get the Dominator series for this board, but uh, there, there's no, uh, I wasn't able to get my hands on that. Um, so, unfortunately, I can't really water, water block the memory, but I would have loved to do that, as well as water blocking the board itself, removing this, okay, these heat sinks that you see here. I would have actually put in, like, Moffets and stuff. But I went with a copper water block for the processor so it can match the copper um, pins as well as in the heat sink that you see that's on the board. Okay, so that for aesthetics purposes, that's why I went with copper. Um, this would be the exhaust fan. So it's actually pulling air out. Air is going straight up this direction and then air is coming in on, the, on this side of the radiator. So pretty much I have bits power fittings as you can actually see they're all bits power okay is what actually I'm running okay and I got my valve over here for the drainage okay so I pretty much mounted my two terabyte drive here in the bottom which doesn't move by the way okay um, what I used was a double adhesive um, 3M tape um, and I put it on the cage this is like a, a cage right here that you can actually see so it's not really being taped on the on the actual hard drive it's being taped directly on on this uh, cage and that's what's holding the terabyte drive all together there and doesn't move as well as the solid state drive as you can actually see there see that I have it mounted vertically I didn't mount it up on, on this side because I'm actually gonna put another SSD drive up there so that that's my space that I'm gonna actually use to mount the other SSD drive okay so and as far as for video cards is concerned I'm actually considering upgrading and um, I'm building another new system which I'm just waiting for the parts uh, to come out um, I'm waiting for the GTX 1080 Ti or the Titan version of the 1080 to come out I'm really not gonna get the the first 1080 that came out because that's really like the low end uh, the low end card uh, that's being released right now um, it's still it's still a pretty decent card, but I just rather wait until the TI version comes out or the Titan version, um, and then I'll probably be getting that. Um, as far as the reservoir, this is the actual reservoir, okay? And I have it mounted reservoir going to pump, which it's a pump and reservoir combo from EKWB. Um, they actually come with two sizes. As a pump combo, you get a 100 uh, millimeter size and a 150 millimeter size. So I I bought one of those just for the for the combo, and then I bought this this large tubing from EKWB, and I replaced the actual casing on the outside casing, and I slapped it on there. Okay, which was pretty pretty decent because it would have actually looked it would have been cutting off from here. Matter of fact, hold on, let me see if I can get it. I can show you. So this is the actual. Uh, size that actually comes uh, with the actual pump together okay it's mounted together so what I did was I replaced this casing with the larger casing just to extend the tube but I have this one on standby which I can just use it as a reservoir um, because this is the actual bottom piece that came with this big one right over here okay so I just put it together okay which pretty much it's there's um, um, using it like this I mean you get an inlet and outlet that you would actually be using doesn't really matter which of the two okay that you would actually use all right water has to come in and water has to come out that's pretty much it okay and then you would actually be closing these two ends um so that, that that's that's the uh, uh uh the gifs of a reservoir now the importance of the reservoir uh being that you guys mentioned you know you needed some information about water cooling and how it works and uh um what, what makes it tick so pretty much this is the importance of the reservoir. You don't want the pump to run dry, okay? So you really want the reservoir the, to feed the liquid into the pump directly. If it's a combo unit, you're set. If it's not a combo unit, and say you have a separate pump, and then you have, like, say, a reservoir like this, then you have to pipe it uh, from the reservoir directly into the pump. It's totally, totally important. That's, like, number one. Uh, that's, that's 101, all right? Going to water cooling. 
Um, other than that, it doesn't matter which direction of the piping that you choose. I actually have it that's actually uh, coming out from the water pump directly into the video card from the video card is going to the processor from the processor is going to this radiator okay and then from this radiator as you can see from this pipe right here is going straight down to this radiator and then from this radiator is going directly back into the reservoir so that's pretty much in a nutshell as far as my loop is concerned okay for uh, water cooling okay because it's um, it, it's it's really not that complicated um, like I said you can actually get kits uh, very affordable kits that would actually cool the processor okay and and that's about it okay um, unfortunately you're not going to be able to do a lot of big overclocking with that kind of a setup um, and it's really you know you can't really build from that okay this is something if you were to build it from scratch it's very customizable okay and you're not really throwing money away because you can always add to it if I wanted to add another uh, radiator I can with no problems I can add a third radiator to this loop where would I stick that third radiator yeah that would be the ideal question it will probably be like somewhere over here on the back side okay when I would actually mount it but I don't need to because as I showed you on the temperatures here it is okay as you can see there I mean it is extremely extremely low now if I were to crank it up let's say okay so I'm just cranking it up okay so you know now it's uh, going like at 23 degrees on one of the rads this one right here is my exhaust so it doesn't really matter but these two right here uh, it's for my vertical radiator and my horizontal radiator and then the fourth one right there is for my pump okay so uh, it's at tw it's technically supposed to be at 12 volts um, sometimes it goes down to 11.9 uh, volts but it stays at 4800 that's all what it shows at maximum speed as far as my pump I can decrease the pump but the pump doesn't make any noise so right now like this is pretty much like a sound that you would hear if it's almost at max setting okay but it's not at max setting okay but um, it's close to it so if I were to max it out okay let's let's actually do that uh, okay so if I were to max it out there we go so even though it's rated at 3000 RPMs it's not taking me at least for this set it's only bringing me up to 28 the other one's only at 2940 okay and the exhaust also will go up to 3000 supposedly so if I max that out there we go Okay, so, but as you can see, she is loud right now, okay, very, very loud, so let me just, let me just bring this down to halfway. Wow, how silent she got there, huh? Yep, and it's only halfway. Okay. So now, as far as the lighting, okay. Uh, Timmy, I think you were asking me what, uh, what lighting I'm actually using. And um, actually, what, what I ended up using um, was an RGB lighting uh, from Performance PCs. It actually comes with the remote, okay that I can actually set it uh, to pulse quicker okay I can also set it to flash okay there we go now it's actually can fade in and out to different colors alright so it doesn't have to pulse okay and strobing okay so you have all these all these features okay and you can actually select what kind of color uh, orientation that you would actually like all right which will look totally totally sick I tell you at nighttime I would have the lights out of my room and uh, well my living room and this would actually give off all the light that I need while I'm actually gaming um, and I did mention that I wanted to put a um, tempered glass 
okay, as far as for the frame out here. And it actually finally arrived today. And we're gonna actually do that right now. Oofa. Okay, so I just got my order. Yes, I just got my tempered glass, okay? So I actually just got it like while I was actually making this video, which is pretty funny. But um, it's here. So I'm just gonna open it up and mount it. Get it ready, forget about it. Oofa. So here we go with a closer look. Totally, totally gorgeous. Totally gorgeous. She's gonna be blinging at nighttime, that's for sure. Mmm. Forget about it. So with that, I'll let you guys go. Hopefully this answers some of the questions with water cooling. And um, so I'm going to let you guys go. And hopefully this does answer some questions about water cooling and stuff. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you out. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Live hard and vape hard. Forget about it.